Hello everyone, so today I'm off to interview Jeremy Corbyn and my voice sounds very very croaky and weird today because I've got a little bit of a sore throat but I have made him some blueberry scones, some raisin pistachio scones and also some just plain scones because I heard that he likes making jam so I thought what goes best with jam besides scones? Nothing, so it's going to be just like afternoon tea. Do you want to come every day? Yeah, why not? You're always welcome. Hello everyone, so today I'm talking to Jeremy Corbyn. So, what were you like as a teenager? I think I was like most teenagers, probably a bit uncertain, a bit confused, and always felt everybody else is having fun somewhere else. Everybody else is doing really well, but not me. I was the youngest of four oh, wow. boys, so uh, there was a degree of competition involved in everything, particularly competitive eating, because they always ate very quickly. This was 1960s, rural Shropshire, 1962, 63, who was top? The Beatles. <laughs> They were going to the cafe where the jukebox is on mm -hmm. and you'd all keep chipping in to keep playing the same record time and time again. So, did you have any pets? Yes, we had cats and uh, they were very good at um, catching wild animals. I'd wake up in the morning with a dead rabbit or a dead mouse or something. So you get up and... If I woke up to a dead rabbit, I'd probably scream the house down. I kept rabbits as well. Um, oh, you had lots of animals. Yeah, unfortunately, one of the rabbits was eaten by one of the cats. Oh, no. <laughs> it's all so tragic, this, isn't it? And the other rabbit I had was um, a, um, a black rabbit with a white nose. It was a lovely rabbit. Oh. And it sort of... Um, and it was really nice. It used to hop around and all around. It was fine, as they do. Then it escaped. Oh, and no. then one day, about six months, a year later, I'm going through this wood on my bicycle and there's all these rabbits on this open space. And this rabbit is part of this no whole way. group of wild rabbits. It had taken up residence of the wild rabbits. I thought, leave it be. Yeah. It's happy. What would you say your favourite subject was at school? Probably history and English. I like history and um, English as well. I was pretty bad at maths, even though my mum was a maths teacher which was a bit embarrassing for her, but, you know, it goes. The thing that I did, found really easy was a thing called a general paper. It was basically random questions about sort of odd, obscure bits of general knowledge, history. How do you revise for that? Effect. You can't. Oh. That was the best part about it. You can't revise for it. You read the papers, watch the news, whatever. Um, and I've always been interested in, from then on, the current affairs and what's going on, so I was very good at that. I think I find it quite nerve-wracking because you don't know what... Oh, to prepare for. for uh, I mean, it was about the only one I passed, actually, but it's all right. <laughs> Did you ever get into any trouble as a kid? We had a French teacher who was... Well, he was a bit odd, actually. If you didn't write in very small writing in your exercise book between the lines as well as on the line, he got very angry. And if you didn't write right at the top of the page along here, he got very angry as well. Well, that wouldn't work for me because my writing's huge. No, it, didn't, it never worked for me either. So he used to come round and he would sort of come up behind you, look over your shoulder and see whether you'd written the whole thing. And if he hadn't, he'd go <coughs> like that on your face. It was a very odd way of encouraging people to love foreign languages. That's what's crazy, that it wasn't even that long ago. Yeah. Oh, as you can see, I'm a young man. You can You're see totally that. totally young. Thank you, thank <laughs> you. My secondary school was actually very strict, and um, it had a regime that I didn't like. It had a lot of physical punishment, caning and stuff like that. Oh, no. And older boys were allowed to punish younger boys, but I said I was not prepared to beat any younger boy. Yeah. So I wasn't made a prefect. I said, well, it's my choice. I'm just not doing it. These days, all that sort of stuff's illegal, thank goodness. And I was really proud when in Parliament in 1987 or 88, I think it was, 
we passed by one vote. Wow. A majority of one. A um, regulation to end corporal punishment in schools oh in Britain. And I was, I said, yes. That's when it was amazing. carried by one vote. Okay, so I'm going to do something called this or that. And I'm going to give you two options, like chocolate or vanilla. And you've got to say which one you'd prefer. Does that make sense? Sounds hard, this one. It's going to be OK. I think some things will be easy. <laughs> this sounds like full of pitfalls. <laughs> OK. Corey or EastEnders? EastEnders. Mm. Sleep or eat? Eat. Town or country? Country. Sweet or savoury? Savoury. Run or walk? Run. Beach or mountains? Mountain. Wedges or fries? Wedges. Christmas? Yeah, well, no, wedges, definitely wedges. Really? I'm strongly think, with the wedges. I don't think anyone said wedges yet, so you're the first one. Oh, the lack of imagination. Oh, there you go. You're See, different. the wedges, you get the skin on the potato. I grow potatoes anyway, that's why you said. Oh, wow. And making chips from your own potatoes is hard work. Wedges much easier. Mm, yeah. Ketchup or barbecue sauce? Ketchup. And lastly, jeans or tracksuit? Tracksuit. Oh, you like the comfort then? Yep. Mm. When I go home every night, um, I put my tracksuit on. Mm, I feel so very comfortable in my tracksuit. So do I, I relate got a to nice tracksuit, I can put that on, and you can do anything with a tracksuit. You can go out in it, whatever, it's great. Exactly. It's great. Because it it's doesn't great. look too much Although like Although people around here don't like me going out with a tracksuit. They said, look, oh. you, they said, look, if you're the leader of the Labour Party, you can't go out in your trackies. Oh. You like your trackies. I love my trackies. Put it there. And as you know, my office is the tidiest place in the whole building. <laughs> I like your office, it's quite homely. I've made us both some scones. So I have some plain scones, some pistachio and rose scones, and some blueberry scones. And also, you've made your jam, mm -hmm. and then I've made my jam. So you eat each other's jam, do you? Yes, let's. OK. This looks great. Mmm, that's lovely. Mmm. Thumbs up. So that's it for this video, everyone. Jeremy, thank you so much for letting me interview you. It's been a pleasure. Oh, Absolute thank pleasure. You. Thank you so much. <clears throat> the best thing I've done today. Oh, thank nice you. Nice afternoon. Coffee, scones, jam. It doesn't get better than this. It doesn't get better than this. <laughs> Do you want to come every day? Yeah, why not? You're always welcome. Why not? Um, and also, your jam was amazing. So thank you very much for letting me try your jam. My pleasure. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in my next interview. Bye. Jeremy was so, so, so nice. He's very similar to me because I love a good tracksuit when I get home.